Facebook posts, coverage on the local paper, even traveling from door to door. I'm Avery Elowate, your neighborhood reporter in Fraser Park. And since late October, members of the Fraser Park community have been determined to get the word out on the impending trash fees. You may remember the community gathering at the Fraser Park Recreation Department in late October. <laughs> Since homeowners were notified of Senate Bill 1383, increasing trash fees, Fraser Park residents have taken it upon themselves to lead this battle. We've been here off and on for, you know, the six weeks or whatever it is. We've left petitions on people's doors. Both of us have written to people off the mountain that have multiple properties that had no idea what this was happening. Garnering as many signed petitions as they can. I think within a week, maybe less, we had the booth set up and a game plan to get this thing rolling. And as the public hearing gets closer, neighbors say they're looking out for their neighbors. We spoke with one person who said at the end of the month, they have $12 left. And that's not right in my opinion. So far, Kern County Public Works says there have been 709 protests verified and 180 that were not verified. For the majority protests to be successful, 842 verified protests are required. We're getting very close, but we want to we want to show the board that everyone up here is upset about this, not just 842 of us. Whether you think that this is good for our community because maybe it'll keep our streets with less trash, the way that they're going about it is not the right way. Protests can continue to be submitted to the clerk of the board until the end of the day on December 4th. But protests can also be submitted at the public hearing on December 5th. This according to Kern County Public Works. More information will be available on our website, turnit23.com. In Fraser Park, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Avery Elowit.